guys, welcome to Backpack Adventure with Tech Tips. 2022, Hi, let's go. Right? Let's do we're, it. We're in Grena right now. It's like a town that makes Swedish candy. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, all the one. Swedes know Grena. Anyway, I got the <laughs> Peter McKinnon Everyday Backpack. And I got the Terry and Zone. I have a Vanguard Active View Active. And I have the man for the multiloader. All right, we're going to take these out into the field, test them out a little bit, and uh, decide which one is the best. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with the Peter McKinnon Everyday Backpack from X Nomadic or Nomadic. Um, I'm going to tell you what I have in the bag today. I have a water bottle uh, in one of the magnetic pouches. When you're not using the magnetic pouches, they just close up and the magnet holds it nice and tight to your bag so it's not flopping around. Anyway, I got my water bottle in there. I don't have a tripod in the other side because the bag, I didn't order it with the straps. There's a lot of extra to get that. Uh, but you need that. These are too flimsy to stick a tripod in without having the side straps on them. What I have in the laptop compartment today is I got my MacBook 16 inch. as an i9, it's not the M1 version. Uh, but there's plenty of room in there. Like you could get an extra book or something in there. I've had some manuals for cameras and stuff in there. All right, so in the, in the top part, We've done this in a qu quite a few configurations now, but today I have my C and Weeble. Is this the Weeble 2? Like the, the newer C and Weeble in the top axis. And it fits in really good. I have it so that I have the ladder lower, uh, so I could just put things in like that. I have my EOS R5 with the 24 to 70 in it. And what I did again was I took the dividers out of the out of the tech pouch and I just made a little section to keep my camera safe from the gimbal. In the top pouch here, I have everything I need for the gimbal. I have the extra cables to connect it to the camera. I have the foot and I have the plate. So everything that you need. I could probably put the whole kit in there, you know, the, the it's not Raven Eye, but whatever the Weebles one is, the extra monitor and everything. There's plenty of space in here. Now, on the side pouch, I got an extra battery for the R. And on the other side pouch, I have my SanDisk Extreme Pro hard drive so that I can back up my media after the end of the day. Put that Weeble back in there. See how it fits in just nice. All right. Then if we open up the back side. In the back, I have an entirely other camera. I have the Sony a7 IV right in there, and it has a 24 to 70 in it as well. G Master, not the G Master 2, or the newer version. I have uh, my strap, a Peak Design strap. I have my GoPro Hero 10. And in there, I also have my Insta360 Go 2. And that's to remind you guys that we have a contest over the summer. You send your summer photos, hashtag on Instagram, summer at sold out media, and you could win a brand new one of these Insta360 Go 2s. Don't forget, on the top side of this, in the pockets, I have a, a Quartzline Polar Pro ND polarizing filter. I got my card reader, and I got my extra SD cards. In the next pouch down, I have some extra batteries for my microphone. I have the attachment to attach the GoPro to my selfie stick. There you go, selfie stick. So that's what I have in this bag. While I'm in here, I'm just gonna show, we'll talk more about it in the, in the finale, but 
you can see here, like the ladder system is really great, but it is a little bit flimsy. Like when I was putting everything together, I had to really hold the bag to hold it together. I do like that you have this top access so I could access whatever I have in the top compartment from the back as well. That's nice. But I feel like this just needed a little more structure. Maybe some rods through there or something to help it. The only other complaint I had about this bag was that in some places, the stitching wasn't great. It's like really good quality, but they missed some of the details and that's too bad. I mean, something as simple as this. I haven't had very much in this bag or haven't used it for very long. And the top handles already are coming apart a little bit. Oh. But overall, nice bag. Let's see what the guys have to say about their bags. Hey, so here I am, it's my turn to shine, and I have the Manfrotto uh, multi-loader with me, and I've packed this full with gear. And I am very excited to say that this is a fantastic bag. Uh, I fit so much stuff in it, which is one of the big problems. It's so heavy. <laughs> uh, we'll start with the outside, and um, on this side I have my, my water bottle, uh, nice steel one fits pretty good. It only falls out if you actually flip the bag over, which you hopefully wouldn't do, unless you're me, because uh, I just did it. Um, on this side, uh, I have not configured to use this as the, as the side axis. I am actually using the other side uh, for the camera. But up here, I have my SD cards, which is a perfect little spot for that. It fits it perfectly. Um, on the front, I have my extra batteries. I have some AA batteries, I have some AAA batteries, and I have two extra uh, Canon batteries. And uh, let's see, on the top here, I have my two filters, the ND filter and the UV filter. One is always on the camera. Right now, I think it's the ND filter. Uh, over here, in this, there you go. I have my SD card reader uh, and I have my uh, battery charger for the Canon batteries. And with this beautiful M guard, I just flip that over like that. Look at that, it's so nice. I have my Canon EOS R with uh, the EF lens uh, 24 to 105 uh, and the nice little handle that Jake made me, which is so nice. Thank you, Jacob. I hope you lose. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, over here, we have the beautiful laptop compartment. Look at that. Whole gaming laptop, no worries whatsoever. Uh, 16 inches. Boom, no issue. All right, let's actually open the big one. I gotta show you guys how much stuff I actually got in this. There you go, look at that. Boom. All right, so. I haven't actually put any stuff in here. If I would have, I would have put my, the dust pen and some other, maybe a flashlight or something like that, you know. Um, anyway, here we have a Canon 70D with a 17 to 50 lens on it. I have the weather resistant cover. I have my drone, the Mavic Air, right there. The drone's um, controller right here. And my Tascam 60D, which I, I really like this one. It's very nice. Uh, it's nice that you can put it on the tripod and you put the camera on top if you want to, or you know, you can do whatever you want. Down here we have my shotgun microphone from Deity. You know, you remember the video, the Deity shotgun microphone. The, there you go, for my R. Down here I have 
uh, my case for microphones. So I have my, uh, uh, it's actually on me right now. So this is, that's what's supposed to be in there. And I have two uh, smaller magic arms from Smallrig. It's the longer version and the smaller one, which I can use for either this screen that I haven't showed you yet, uh, or the microphone, because I only have one, uh, one cold shoe, but then you can put this on the actual tripod, so that's it's pretty great. Uh, up here, we have Aperture's Fine HD screen, um, and I keep it in the plastic because I need to take care of it, because usually I have it in the case by itself. But today, just for you guys, I wanted to prove that I can pack it in this bag with everything else. Uh, I have the sun protection, I have two batteries, Sony batteries, I have the battery charger for those batteries, and over here I have all of the accessories, all cables for the screen. And that's essentially everything in this bag. Uh, one of the problems is that it fits all of those things, and uh, it actually makes it super heavy. Um, but you know, it's pretty great that you can. I probably wouldn't want to pack all of this stuff like this if I were to have it for every day, but I could. That's what I want to say. So anyway, that's from me, and I'm gonna send it over to whoever's next. It's probably Marcus or it's uh, maybe Jake, but you know, over to you guys, and I hope you lose. <laughs> It's my turn with my Tarion Zone. We can see they have my Ronin strapped to the side here. And uh, this side strap is quite not that strong, in my opinion. It's not so great, in my opinion. At the other side, we have the <laughs> quick access point from the side, where I only have my tripod for the, for the Ronin. Or legs. And so, we go into the front compartment and start from the bottom, or from, from the actual door. So here at the, at the top, I have my Ceremonica microphones. And uh, if this uh, door here was only this wide and wasn't this deep, I wouldn't be able to fit it because it doesn't go in this way. You have to go in and turn and then close it. And underneath there I have my uh, power supply for my Blackmagic and I have my uh, HDMI for my monitor. And so in the little bag inside the bag I have my CSK Blackmagic with the Takumar 55 1.8 right now with the uh, ND filter, ND55 PL. And be beside that, I have the uh, microphones and accessories for my Ceremonica. So, to the actual zone then, in the middle I have my Raveneye and all my cables that I need for uh, the follow focus and the um, the really nice power supply and the quick release plate for the camera and beside that i have a, a simple multi-tool it's quite it's quite nice that you can replace those uh, compartments and at this side i only have a little uh, iphone holder for the, if I want to mount it on my Ronin. And then I don't have anything, I didn't find anything that fits those small compartments. And I, I wouldn't want to put an, a, like an SD card in here or something that would be too flimsy. Or maybe it would supposed to be batteries. It would, it would probably fit a battery. 
And here I have my Sigma 18 to 35, 1.8. And I have a step up ring for, for it to fit the, uh, the filter. And here I have my uh, seven inch monitor. And also at the at the side here, here I have my Samsung T5, right there. And at the other side, I have uh, car keys and a spare battery. So that is for my backpack. Over to the next one. All right, we're at Brow House. We're gonna check out some cool ruins and I have the view active on me, so let's go. All right, hey everybody. This is uh, Backpack Adventure with Jacob. I have the Vanguard VO Active 46. It's a beautiful bag. And before I take it off, since I have it on me, I figured I could show you what I like about this part right here. So part of it here is these pocket expand. I love that I can just stick my phone in there and hook it back to my USB charger that's on the side. On this side, I have another one with the uh, the Leatherman multi-tool, good to have always. And on this side, in case there's a flash pouring, I have my weather coating right in there. So I just wanted to say, it is very comfortable. Uh, this little thing feels like it's hugging you entirely when you're walking around with it, that's so really nice. It's part of why I think this is the winner. Let's see here, if I pop off the torso strap and the waist strap, the waist strap is removable as you might remember. But I like having the waist strap. Here you go, take a look at the beauty while we're at it. Again, View Active 46 has the 840D Corndoro uh, weather and uh, ripping resistant nylon with the herring stitching and the reverse stitching, you know. Has a beautiful clasp up here too, very stylish. Li love the giant zippers. Uh, weather sealed, by the way, uh, rainproof. And then you have the rain cover for the rest when it's pouring more than you want to get on you. So, you know. Let's see here what we got in it. Let's start from the top. Um, just what I had. I have a water bottle here, as you can see, on the side. Here I have a towel for when it pours, so I don't want to put wet stuff inside. Also have my Insta360 One R little action camera here, a little case. Have it in there, in case there's something awesome that you want to shoot right away. Da -da -da -da. Just pop, pop it back in there. There you go. Da -da -da. And flip it on. There is room for another tripod up here, but I decided to bring the little tripod in the water pouch compartment because I bought a water bottle. So I have the little Mantis pod from PGY Tech. I love that thing. So small, it just fits in everywhere. Otherwise, this would be the water uh, camel pouch thing that comes out here. It's really nice that you have the option of that, or having the water bottle. Today is water bottle day. And uh, yeah, on this side here is where the USB sticks it, pops in. Right there, see the charger? Yes, go, it's popped right in here. There you have it. And then you can just pop it into your phone, like that. See? So now my phone is charging while I'm out. Very nice. I don't need that. Here we go. Let's open up, let's see what's in the side. There. Have my little passport wallet thing here too. Always nice when you're out hiking so you don't have to hike back to get your wallet. Let's see what we got. I got two cameras with me. I have a Sony A7 IV. I have a R with the long lens on here, uh, right in here. And I have the drone with all of its attachments here. Ta -da -da. 
batteries and then the charger for my Mac up here. This is the 16 inch Mac right there. In case I need to transfer anything or send something. And then this little thing that I really love, the little tech pouch. And then here I have my uh, card readers. I have my charger for my batteries here. I have my headset to listen to my audio. And when I'm done, I'm gonna put the uh, memory cards in there. So it's really, really neat and handy. Right, so uh, this entire pouch comes out. Here comes the entire pouch out. And on the side here is my power bank. Connected on the inside. There you have it, very smooth. Just don't do it on a rock. Just a recommendation. Here we go. Uh, then there's only one more thing I have on the outside because sometimes I am clumsy. Sometimes other people around me are clumsy. On the belt I have the little lens holder. But at the moment I have my lenses in there, so instead I have my med kit. No, so is somebody getting hurt. Always good to have nearby. So if you cut your fingers, you don't get all your inside messy and when you kind of get, get it on the inside. Anyways, I really love this bag. Uh, it's so amazingly comfortable. Like this, this back pad here, it's really, really nice. I really love it. And I do also love that this is one of the few bags that has both the, the water pouch, camel pouch thing you can put in, and the USB port. So you can have both. Usually you get one or the other, but this one is like a nice hybrid in between both. And it's travel sized for airplanes. So once again, I believe I won as per usual. See you guys. That was awesome, guys. Was. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I see Linus has enjoyed the most, eh? <laughs> but uh, I think what we need to talk about is what did you like the most about the bags? What I love most about this bag is, I keep saying, it's the M Guard, and they're fantastic. Uh, super easy to use. You get a bunch of different ones. You can configure however, want, however much you want. A big plus is that it's very comfortable. Like, mm -hmm. I, it, I, it's amazing. I, I had um, two tripods on it and it still felt okay. It still felt okay. And you can fit everything in I that bag. I can fit everything in the bag. Right. Uh, the other problem with the bag is it is that big and you can fit everything. <laughs> that makes it super heavy. <laughs> Which mm. is why you got the biggest bag. <laughs> yes. That was me. That's right. the Manfrotto. I mean, Jake, what did you like about your bag the most? Uh, I really like that this is like a, a versatile bag. You have your uh, power bank attachment, and you have your water camel pouch attachment. Mm -hmm. So you can use it for hiking, you can use it for the office if you want. I just really like how comfortable it is. I like that it doesn't look like every other bag out there. And it's, I mean, I have all of it. I can fit anything I need, and I can take the entire pouch out if I need. So I really, I really like it. I like the idea that you can actually use the... The belt, belt. separately. Yeah, oh my God, it's actually... Good for something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I think that the theme across all these bags is they're so adaptable in yeah. different ways. Yeah. yeah. You can configure, and that's why, that's the similarity between all the bags. They're so different, but it's because they're all so adaptable. Yeah. 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 Marcus, what do you like the best about the Terion? Well, uh, it, the best thing about it, I think, is uh, the accessibility from yeah. every spot. Every angle. It, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the bag in the bag is a neat thing as well. Yeah, I love that you have the bag in the bag, but you also have the whole compartment yeah, that sure, can come yeah. out if you want to use yeah. it for something completely different. Yeah, sure. How many access points do you guys have in your bags? 40. 
Now, I have four, which right. is insane. That's insane. You are the winner for access points, That's I think. Just saying. I only have the top access and the back access, which yeah. is the downside to this bag, I think. What I like the best about this McKinnon backpack is it's actually so comfortable. I have loaded it with so many things and it just like, it, it, it feels great. Yeah. The other thing is, it fits um, way more than you think it does. Yeah. Like when we ordered this and I first took it out of the box, I was like, wow, ah, this is kind of a little bit like the peak design. I'm not going to get anything into it. But I got way more into it than I thought. Now you guys have seen three different configurations because yeah. we did the, the original review, yeah. the uh, one Mo versus the, yeah, the yeah, 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 McKinnon. Yeah. And today, and again, like it, it keeps on surprising me what I can fit in this backpack. Yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Worst thing about the backpack. <laughs> I, I go first. Go first. I, I have too many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, first off, when you it's very big, so you can fit very many things yeah. in it. So that means it becomes very heavy. Yeah. And this one is quite wide, so it becomes very back heavy. Yes. Because uh, I put it the monitor in the far end right. of the back, so that becomes very he heavy. Uh, I don't like the, uh, the actual sewn bit uh, being uh, too flimsy. Yes. So even if you get the perfect fit for something, if something is just pointing up a little bit, then mm. everything falls apart. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, yeah, right. I had that happen too. I tried to put the camera in and like three of the, the dividers just popped right yeah, out. Yeah. And Jake, you've said about the back heavy thing too when you did the review down in Helsingborg. Yeah, you have to really be really careful of how you pack it. Right. Like everything has to be like towards your spine and then fluffy things in the back. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise you kind of just go whoo. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you have a belt on it too. Uh, another, something that I dislike is yeah. because of the accessibility that I have the ability to just open everything up. Mm -hmm. It also makes it, I don't really like how the, all the different accesses are yeah. made. I feel like they're kind of wonky. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they work, but that's one thing that I'd, they could probably make better. Yeah. I'll, I'll go next with the McKinnon backpack. The two things that I don't like. I, I don't like that it only has those two access points, the top and the back access. I miss having a side access. You get these magnetic water bottle pouches, but I'd rather have a side access at some point. Yeah. But the other thing that I don't like about it is the material. There are some places where it feels really cheaply made. Like oh, these, no. these straps feel awesome. And the build of most of the bag is great, but like this, this top handle, it's got the, the stitches wearing out on it. And Already, the, yeah. the inside step ladder, it feels flimsy to me too. Like okay. it feels like when I was trying to structure together everything, it did feel like I really had to hold the bag together while I was trying to put my stuff in, you know? What did you not like about the Vanguard? Uh, there's two things. Uh, the lens holder, if you don't set it in properly, I don't have it on now, and then you pop the belt off, it just flies. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped it between a couple of rocks one time and then I Terrifying. walked away without it one time. I was like, right. oh no, oh no, 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 no. So you have to kind of lock it in and yeah. fiddle it in, and then it's hard to get in and sit places. Right. Uh, the other part is I'm missing accessibility, like actually being able to get in it without taking it off and opening it. Yeah. Like a t it, the, the zipper opens up in the top, so you can technically top access it, but there's no access point in the actual yeah. cube. Now they just came out too with their own line of extra bag and bag cubes. Yeah. And they, in the commercial, they demoed it with that particular bag. So I think course, they yeah, also yeah. realized that that maybe was a, they jumped the gun on releasing it without having that side access. Yeah. But overall, I like that bag. So who has the best bag? I do. I do. I do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I have one more special test, a secret test back at the base. We're going to really see if I can destroy these backpacks. That and sounds uh, great. then we'll decide Why? if there is a winner. <laughs> Left man standing. All wow. right, over to future Amanda. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry for the iPhone audio. Final test. We're going to throw these guys over the balcony full of uh, coffee mugs. Oh my and then gosh. we're going to soak them. We'll see who survives. Goodbye, multi-loader. No! Woo! Oh Goodbye. my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait! All right, all right. All right that let's open horrible. it. Up. That Did sounded so again? bad. Hey, GoPro. GoPro went to French Street. All right, let's see. Are they alive? Are they alive? Oh no! No! Mm. Big oh. sad. <laughs> <laughs>
Aww. The M guards were not enough. We're both broken? Both broken. Both are broken. All right. Sad. I guess the M guards aren't covering if they're not right. like this way. Right, all right. Uh, um. Just throw it out of the way. Next up we have the Terry on Zone. I have one cup in the main compartment and I have one cup in the extra camera bag. Let's see if we, any survive. Yeah. All right, goodbye Terry on Zone. Poor bag. Wow, I hope there wasn't a camera in there. <laughs> I do not feel like that one survived. This one has a chance. Oh, that's. It's okay. okay. It's okay. It oh my god. The it beat the M guard. Oh, I mean, it was super padded. Awesome. Oh, man. This is a very violent experiment. Peter McKinnon every day. Oh, I kind of missed the GoPro that time. I knocked the tag off of it, though. All right. Oh no, the most important thing for Amanda, right. the tag. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, did it survive? Did McKinnon survive? Opening the top axis. We have one Woo! okay. One okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. See the other one. Oh, the other one is broken. One broken. So the, one cent broken. the center survived. Yeah. All well, right. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. All right, all right I got the VO active. VO active? Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye, GoPro. <laughs> that hurts my soul. <laughs> okay. Ah! Okay. One is one. okay. I see one. One Woo! is okay. Yes. One is okay. Let's should, see the other one. Should we give the should we give the multi-loader one more chance? Oh. This one's also okay. Woo! It yes. got both good. Oh my god. Linus, did you want to give your bag one yeah, more chance? Yeah, let's try. Yeah. We're yeah, going to yeah, give please. it one more chance with the multi-loader and tighten up the frame just a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Another one for the multi-loader. All right. Multi-loader, second chance. Here let's we go, go, guys. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's let's see. That's that was better. <laughs> oh come on! It had to have survived. That was better. I I, I think it was just not packed properly. I think packed it wasn't properly. packed properly the first time. All right. Let's see the first one. Yes. I'm Woo! good. All right. Second one. I told you it's the best bag. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, nice. water test. Let's go, guys. <laughs> All right. I got four bags and I got four buckets of water. We're going to throw the water on the bags. There's toilet paper in the top of each of the bags and whichever one is dry is the winner. All right, let's go. All right, McKinnon bag. Oh. <laughs> Good job. I missed. <laughs> All right, he needs a little extra. There we go. Now it's fair. All right, McKinnon. I got more wet than the bag did, I think. Inside is dry, except for my fingerprints on the toilet paper. But look, guys, inside is dry. Nice. Bio active in five. Uh, now. All right. I am very hopeful for this guy. Look at the water just come right off of him. Dry. So if you get a freak rainstorm. <laughs> freak splashing. Swedish weather, right? All right. We got the Manfrotto Pro Light Multiloader. Ready, guys? Yeah. All right. Also dry. That's a lot of winds. Carry on is the last. Carry on disappointment. Here we go. Does anybody want to buy these bags? <laughs> Woo All right, what do we got? All claim to be water resistant, so. 
Yeah, yeah look at that. That's good. There's no water on the insides anywhere. All the bags did really, really well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And who was the winner, guys? Not Frodo. No, oh, McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> if Marcus was here, he'd say not to carry on. Yeah. All right. See you in the next one. Like and subscribe, guys. We love you, buddy. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Your friends. <laughs>